Hi, today I'm going to talk about fats. Um, first I'll talk about fats that I use to cook and uh, things like that or consume um, standalone fats. Uh, I use four fats in my diet. I use real butter made from whole milk. Um, I use lard. I use coconut oil and I use extra virgin olive oil. Now extra virgin oil and olive oil I use that quite a bit in the past um, but I've I rarely use it now except for if I'm if I'm cooking something like on the fly and I didn't take the coconut oil out of the um, fridge to, to bring it down to room temperature I would use some of that because I don't really fry anything in it um, I, I use it just to get uh, add flavor to the oil itself uh, if I'm doing like curry chicken or curry goat or you know some kind of uh, poultry that require or meats that require um, strong seasoning that's what I use it for. Uh, for the most part, I've added, I use it in my vegetable juice as a, just to get the unsaturated fats and some of the saturated fats that I have. Uh, because I, I didn't, I wasn't really using a whole lot of avocados at the time. But since I've been using avocados, um, I don't really use it much unless I don't have any avocados, then I'll use it as a substitute. Um, then there is the lard lard people has gotten a bad rap over the years and there there are other youtube videos on a different quality of lard um yeah, the ones that you get near the kidneys those are supposedly are the best and then you got back fat lard which has a strong aroma when you when using it um some people, there are they even some videos online on how to process your own um, back fat, fat uh, and leaf fat to uh, make um, quality lard, but um, from scratch. But uh, you know, I, I, it's impractical for me to do so, so I buy mine at a store. Um, I paid what, like five dollars for a five gallon bucket of lard, so and it. Uh, and they have a chemical I think it's BHT or something like that. I can't remember it, but uh, apparently it's supposedly supposedly linked to cancer um, in some in some way. Uh, but it's used also as a preservative for the lard. And because uh, you know again practical use, um, I can't be over. I'm not. I'm not. I can't be overly paranoid on some things, and I rely heavily on the fruit juice, fruits and vegetables to help uh, eliminate some of the um, poisons that uh, I may get from some of the other foods that I use. I try to be as healthy as possible but I don't try to be a lunatic about it uh, because I still have to live a happy life. I can't, um, and I think that's important, you know, doing things within reason and doing things practically. So, of course, there's butter, which I use. Um, it's a dairy fat. I use whole milk butter, real butter. Um, I sometimes I use that, grab that, fry some eggs or something in that. Oh, I'll fry the eggs in the lard. But the, but the butter is fine too. Um, it, from a cost-effective way, because I buy bulk sometimes, um, the lard is uh seem to be a little bit more effect uh cost effective um but you know i don't really w what i cook with lard is primarily like if I, you know with a goat like i mentioned um but like a small cooking i'll just use some butter and of course there's a coconut oil which i to me uh based on all the research i've done seem to be the healthiest um one to use but um, I have to pr plan taking it, um, like the, bringing it to room temperature prior. Uh, a lot of times I don't really get to that point, so I just grab one of the other three to use. Um, so, 
Uh, yeah, don't criticize me too much in that because you know sometimes I come in and there's no food and I know some of the kids are coming home really you know may come home early that day, so I gotta prepare something uh, on the fly. Uh, usually, if we're planning uh, something, then I'll take everything out in the frost. Well, it's not frozen, but you know, thaw out to uh, room temperature where it's easier to to use. Um, but those are the four fats that I use. They, um, for me, because I'm not really consuming carbohydrates, um, like added carbohydrates, they work. For, they work really well. I don't really feel. Again, I don't really feel crazy hungry um, when I eat fat with protein, and I, um, I don't. I feel satisfied. My brain don't uh, act like I need a cookie or a cake. Um, marshmallows, which was what I used to alleviate that that hunger pain or whatever you call it. Um, there are other uh, oils out there, like macadamia nut oil, which um, is being pro have been promoted as uh, supposedly the healthiest. Unfortunately for me, it's not the easiest thing to find, um, unless I order it online. But again, cost effective it's really not worth buying because I already have the oils and the fats that I use and you know if I come across it uh, where I can purchase it I will and start using it but it's uh, again I have to stay practical for me um, for some of you guys it might be more practical for you to get the macadamia nut oil um, or lard um, or even the butter or the well olive oil is everywhere so that's not a shouldn't be an issue nor the butter but more the exotic type oils like again the macadamia nut oil I consider it exotic because it's hard for me to find I don't see it in the stores where I shop I'm sure they have it in some of the grocery stores but again the, some of the grocery stores but I shop you know at restaurant depot um, because I buy in bulk um, I take care of five children plus myself so and their friends and if uh, my girlfriend comes over or something well then you know so a lot of times it's um, more cost effective for me to shop that way and I guess the tip in this is that don't be afraid of uh, the fats uh, especially lard um, and shop practically if you can get some of the more exotic ones like the macadamia nut oil go for it so um and, but as long as you don't stress your wallet and stress yourself out on trying to be overly healthy and diminish um the co your quality of life over food um you know those are this is just these fats are what i use i've started been using them for a, a year now with great results I'm really happy with, the, with with how things are. Again, I don't shy away from cookies and stuff like that. I eat them on the, um, special occasions. But again, I don't. Re I eat first, and when I eat a cookie or something, it's just to be more sociable, to socialize, uh, or to try out one of my kids cooking when they bake a cake or something. Um, so it doesn't really. Uh, so it doesn't. It you know. My diet doesn't dictate my life in the way where I can fall off because, you know, it works for me and hopefully it might work for you. So hopefully you like this video, if you like it if you do, subscribe, ask questions down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys with more videos. You all have a good day.